We're back on the record in the Sling Sales Matter. We had a little bit of a tech difficulty with Mr. Zernich's connection, but I think that's cleared up now, um, and, and you have a good connection. I can hear and see you very well. So, um, Kaylee, I'll remind you that you were under oath. Mr. Hofflin um, has finished with his hearing. Everybody's back with us. Mr. Hofflin, you can continue um, with your questions. I think we left off with questions regarding Kaylee's visitation after the conclusion of the CPS case. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Kaylee, just so we're all back on the same speed, is that the CPS case ended in March of 2017. Do you recall that? Yes. And, and so after that occurred, uh, after the CPS case ended, I, I believe I asked you when your next visit was uh, with Jaden after the case closed, and you said you didn't recall. Um, yeah, I was in jail for like three weeks. Um, so I assume I didn't see him for at least a month. Once when I got out, I sure I uh, uh, set up a visit. And who did you set up the visit with? Rex. And so uh, where was that visit? At Exploration Park, by his house. And who was there uh, with him? <clears throat> Just Rex. Was Jaden with him? Yeah. Okay, and how long was that visit? I'm not sure, about an hour. Okay. And so after the visit at Exploration Park, when was the next visit after that, if you recall? Maybe a week or two. And where was that visit? Um, uh, he picked us up and we went to Baja Fresh and um, I think, I don't remember what else we did. I just remember eating at Baja Fresh. He picked us up. He took you out to eat, or how did that happen? Yeah, yeah, we had it. We were eating. We 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 went out to eat, and I think we just had spent some time at the restaurant, and then he brought me back home. Okay, and so when's the visit after that? Probably another week or two. And uh, he was very busy with a lot of poker tournaments, so it was really hard to get. Um, he would reach out to me through private numbers or fake throwaway phone numbers, and I could never reach out back to him. So it was really on his own time when in between tournaments. Okay, so you, again, when was the next visit after that? About a week or two in, in between visits. Okay, and so what was the next visit? It was continuous like that for about a year. Okay. Uh, but there were moments where I would go, he would go months without calling me, and I wouldn't have a way to get a hold of him. Yeah, you know, it was very stressful. Okay, so what did you do when there was no contact? There was nothing I could do. Did you reach out to Rex? Uh, I tried to, but the numbers were bogus numbers. When did you have bogus numbers for Rex? Um, all the way up until I got Ting's phone number. I think there was one number before I started talking to Ting um, that they, it was a shared phone. I guess like a they bought like a cheap phone that they could use to keep contact between me that they would share between Rex and Ting. And at that time. Um, that was the that was um, the only number that I could reach them on, but I was often ignored. Okay, so when did you get a, a phone number from a cheap phone that you got from? Uh, who, who did you get this phone number from? From Rex or from? Uh... Yeah, I do not recall when I got the phone number. It was from Rex, but I do know that I did get Ting's phone number in February of two thousand and nineteen because of the uncomfortable situation I had with Rex prior to getting her number. So how did you get her number in 2019? Well, she was at the visit, and she witnessed the, the, the moment that I was uncomfortable. So before she left, I, I gave her my number, 
And she texted me a day or two after that and said, um, sent a picture or something of Jaden. And I was like, well, who is this? And she goes, it's Ting. I'm like, oh, okay. And she said, you can contact me from now on, basically, like, and after that, um, he started coordinating visits with me, and I would only sporadically hear from Rex off of fake phone numbers or phone numbers that had no callback access. Oh, so I uh, just have an understanding. You, you, it's your testimony today is that you, uh, your visitation with Jaden occurred three to four months after the, the CPS case closed because you were in jail for three to four months. No, three to four weeks. Three to four weeks. You're Sorry, counsel. And after that period of time, your first visit was at Exploration Park. Mm -hmm. Next one was at a, uh, a Baja Fresh. Am I correct? Yes. And you exercise vi visits how often? Every week? Every two weeks? Once a month? Every two months? It was very sporadic because of Rex's schedule and however he wanted to do it. So it's not, I had no control over, I can never text up until 2019. I could never text and say, hey, I'd like to see Jaden this weekend or hey, can we set this up? Can we do this or that? Um, it, it, that didn't really start until like mid 2018 when they got the, the phone that, that, that they could share communication with me with. I got you, Kaylee. Maybe this will be a lot quicker if we could just answer my question, please. And my question wasn't the reasons why. I'll ask you those questions or your counsel may. If you could just share with me how many times right. you had with your son in 2017, please. Was I, I don't. Time? I don't recall. It had to be at least 10 times or more. Okay. How many visits did you have with your son in 2018? I don't recall more than 10. Less than 20 or more than, where, where are we at? Um, I didn't count them, so uh, 10, 15 to my recollection. Okay, so at the most in 2018 it would have been 15? At the most, yeah. Okay. What about in 2019? Or 15, same, same for each year. I, I don't recall each single visit. I don't I make a documentation of every single visit, so I don't have the exact number off the top of my head. I'm sorry. So it's, it, you would agree with me it was between 10 and 15 visits you had with your son each year in 2019. Okay, yes. You, you agree with me? I agree. All right, and, and what about 2019, uh, 2020? I had a lot of visits this year, this year uh, uh, like 10 to 15. 10 to 15, okay. In 2020. In 2021, you've had about five or six? Yes. Okay. And the duration of, of all these visits are about one hour? Yes. The last two visits have been two hours. But before that, they're each one hour? Correct. And then there, you had some visits which were done at the uh, uh, at the movie theater. Correct. Two or three visits there. Correct. Dan likes movies. Okay. Now, so I'm, now I'm going to ask you the other question that I uh, that you answered when I asked you the question was that what was the reasons why you didn't have a lot of visits in 2017 with Jake. Lack of, I'm sorry, lack of communication. And whose fault was that? Both parties. Who's both parties? Uh, mine and Rex. Uh, what was, what, what did you, what was your fault? What did you do wrong? Um, I didn't go to court sooner. 
I'm sorry. Uh, so I didn't go to court sooner to 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 adjust visitation sooner. Okay, but you said that there was a problem with the visitation and you had supervised visitation with your son in 2017. I was just asking you, whose fault was that for not having supervised visits for those visits in 2017? Was it your fault or Rex's fault? And you said it was both of your faults. I was just asking. Yeah, there were, there were times. There were times I couldn't make some of the visits because I had worked all night and I was super tired. And there's no excuse for missing my alarm, I agree, but I was, you know, most times they were super early in the morning. And then, and on his side, it, just no communication, or you call from a number that I can't reach you back on and leave everything up to his girlfriend. And so that's why I say it's half 50-50. Okay. I'm not going to put all the blame on me, and I'm not going to put all the blame on him for both and, wrong. And so... With him, meaning Rex, his fault was that the communication wasn't good and he was leaving it to his girlfriend. Who, who was his girlfriend? Who, who was he leaving it to? Well, like, in 2017, I wasn't talking with, with Ting. So the communication between me and him, he was just not leaving it to anybody. He was not having communication. Sometimes it would go a month or two and I wouldn't hear from anybody. So you're waiting for, <clears throat> in 2017, you're waiting for Rex to reach out to you. Correct. All right, so you, you just wait for him. Whenever he reached out to you, then you would exercise some visitation time with your son. Every time I spoke to him on the phone, I begged him, can I please see my son? But he initiated all the calls. You didn't initiate any of those calls. No. How many of the calls did, I, I don't understand what you meant by no, is that no, he didn't, he initiated all the well, calls, and you didn't. Because I wasn't, I'm, I'm blocked on his cell phone, so I wasn't able to initiate the phone call. He called me private a lot as well. So I didn't have his direct phone number. If he texted me, he would be from a fake number, and if he called me, it would be from private. It wasn't until 2018 that they got a phone, temporary phone, to communicate with me on, and that's when the communication started between everybody. Okay. So in 2017, you're putting the blame on Rex for having a, a fake phone. Did you ever try texting back to this fake phone? Yes. And so and what was the response that you received? None. And... You're putting the blame on Rex, 50% on him, and then 50% on you because you slept in during a, a couple of the visits that you were supposed to do and you missed the visits, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's, any other problems in 2017 or is that it? That's it. Now, are you aware that in 2017 that Rex and Ting uh, took your son to go visit your, and meet your mom in uh, New York? Yes. How did you find out about that? Well, Rex text, Rex had called me and he goes, guess where I am? And I said, well, where are you? He goes, well, I'm in Niagara Falls with Jaden. And I was like, really? He goes, yeah. I have a tournament out here, so I thought I'd bring him to go visit your mom. So that's how I found out. And so were you happy that uh, Rex took Jaden to meet your mother? Well, it wouldn't necessarily say meet. But see, yes, I, I was, yes, of course. You were happy? Yes, yes. I want everybody to be in Jaden's life. And so let's go to 2018. You said, you've said 2019 and 2018. Let's just clarify this, is that there was a phone that you could reach Ting on that they both had, Rex and Ting. When was that? Was that like I said... And like I had answered before, in mid-2018, there was a phone number, a 949 number that I was contacting Rex on, but it was only roughly like not even 24 hours before uh, she would say, okay, well, he's busy, so I'm going to handle this, or you know what I mean? So sometimes I would talk to him and sometimes I would talk to her. But it's never, I never got a response out of him unless he called me. So if I texted, he would respond. But if I called, nobody would answer. It would go right to voicemail. 
So I'm not sure if he put me on block sometimes and then unblocked me or could see my blocked messages or how they do things. I'm, I don't know. Well, let's... So it's, it's, mid-2018 was the answer? I'm sorry. I cut you off. I severely apologize for that. No, I'm sorry. I, I have a bad habit of doing that. Let's, let's go back to 2018. Were the problems with uh, the communications between you and Rex in 2000, or between you and Rex or with Ting regarding visitation with your son in 2018? I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Sure. You testified before that there's problems with the visitations in 2017 because of communications. I'm just asking the same question for 2018. Was there any problems with communications? In 2018. Yes, but it, it yes, but it kind of started to get a little bit better. I don't I don't know like yeah, but there were still gaps. Okay, and so my same question was whose fault was that? Was it your fault or Rex's fault? Both. Okay, and how was it Rex's fault? Because he would turn that phone off, and I would have no way to get a hold of him or T for weeks. Sometimes weeks. I, I'm just devastated. I have no way to get a hold of my child. And my fault would be not going to court over it. Did you miss any visits because you slept in or missed them or anything like that in 2018? Yes, I admit that. How many visits did you miss? I'm not sure. Maybe four or five. But let's my, rest of my recollection, uh, four. Okay, well, let, let's go to 19. Uh, out of this communication, was there any problems with the communication in 2019? Uh, uh, I want to say, like, yes, we had a bit of a rough start because kind of awkward, you know, Baby mama talking to ex-girlfriend, trying to make things work out, but we both care about the kids, so we we do it. Um, the communication started off a little patchy, but eventually it got better. But whose fault was that? My own. Is there anything uh, that Ting is to blame for? No. So there was any, uh, so the communication problems in 2019, um, it was patchy, you're to blame for it. Well, let's talk about 2019. Was there any problems in 2019 with the communication? I'm sorry, 2020, I just did 2019. Yes, uh, yes, uh, towards the end of 2020, like around... November, um, I couldn't I couldn't get a hold of her. I wanted to during a visit. It was a visit time. Um, the visit's at 12.30. I texted her about 10.30, and she wouldn't answer the phone. I was just trying to um, – I got a notification in my email that I was invited to a seminar for my career at a certain time, and I had already agreed with my – boss that I would just cancel it because it was more important to have my visit. And then also my um, stepmom uh, had wanted to go to this visit, so but she had got off of work at 2 o'clock. So I was just trying to coordinate with Ms. Ho um, a, a little bit of a later time so I could invite my stepmom um, and possibly my dad to the visit. But they weren't answering the phone either. So it, it was a bunch of, you know, me trying to do too much at once that day, and I guess I called her, and she didn't answer, so I called her private, and she was screaming at me at the top of her lungs, I'm effing busy, da -da 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 -da, going off on me. So at that point, I just never called her again. We just communicate through text. Okay. So who, whose fault was that? Hers. Right. What other is there any other faults regarding the communication regarding Ting in 2020? Yes. Or what else? Um, 
December, I remember this day very distinctively, December 7th, I believe it was. Yes, December 7th. She agreed to weekly visits, and shortly after, actually the, the night of court, December 11th, we were discussing bringing him to a church Christmas play. Now, he attended this church Christmas play last year. He loved it. We took family pictures with Santa Claus and the Grinch, and he learned about God a little bit. Um, not too much, you know, because they don't, they're easy on the kids, you know. But it was a great experience. I tried to get him to go this year. She said no due to COVID restrictions, which I understand. But somehow the conversation went south. And she was like, nope, no weekly visits. We'll go back to Saturdays, and that's final. Have a good day. So that was the only other time. That was December of 2020. Okay. Any other communication problems between you and Ting and two, or Rex in 2020? We haven't spoke since July of 2020. Um, yeah, I'm a little concerned of the last time we spoke. He met me at the Palms place at his friend's condo, and he was drinking and very depressed, saying that he has a new girlfriend who's married, and he's depressed because he loves her and wants to be with her, and she won't leave her husband, so he's going to move to Texas, and he's sorry that he's going to leave. So I haven't spoke to him since. Okay, so there's no other problems with communications regarding... Uh, my, my question was... And thank you for that, but if we can go back to my question again, is mm -hmm. there, was there any problems with communications ever in 2020? Uh, no. Okay, and what about 2021? No. So it's fair to say there's no problems with communications in, in 2021 and 2020, correct? Oh, actually, I'm sorry, 2021, yes. Um, and I would even add a I would even add something to 2020. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to remember everything so fast. Um, sorry. So in 2020, I opened my custody case in July. Shortly after that, I did request from Miss Ho to attend family counseling with Jaden to work on our bonding. And, you know, I also asked to be involved with his doctors his therapy, his school, and I was denied any of that as well. And you had the conversation in July of 2020? <clears throat> Between July 2020 and now. There's some time, you just don't remember when it was. Correct. Okay. I know I've been asking for the therapy for months though. Gotcha. Okay, well, let's let's go back a little bit and, and let's talk about stuff. Um, you're aware that there was a visit between in uh, November of 2020 between your mother and Jaden, and you were there with. Do you recall that? Oh yeah, the visit at the park. Yeah. All right, and what happened at that visit? And who was present at that visit? Uh, me, my, okay, well, so there was two visits back to back. One was on, I believe, a Wednesday and a Thursday. Or it was like a visit a day and then another visit. Okay, so the, one of the visits, the first one, I think, I believe my dad and my stepmom and my mom were there. And also Ting and Jaden. Um, I had just a gigantic suitcase full of presents that, been piling up at my house and my mom also had a bunch of stuff that she had brought from New York so Jaden spent like a half hour opening presents in the suitcase clothes, toys snacks, candy, you name it we had it and so he spent a lot of time opening presents and talking and um, you know my dad and my stepmom were kind of just there they do talk to him a little bit uh, but, Judge, I'm not going to ask destroy. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. If you could just answer my question, it's this will go a lot, a lot okay, easier. Yeah. So my dad, my stepmom, me. Matt, to, Matt, there's no question. That was it. I, I, if, if you saw before when you said some extra stuff, I went back and asked you the same questions in which to 
come back, but if you could just answer my question, was there a visit with your parents in November of 2020? Yes, counsel, sorry. Okay, and then who, who scheduled that visit? I did. Okay, and when was that visit? November. And, well, I'm sorry, this was, yeah, the beginning of November. I believe it was the 4th, to my best of my recollection. And so was there, is, was there, uh, was there a schedule for two visits? Yes. And how did the first visit go between your son uh, on the first visit? It went great. Was there a problem because your, your father was there? No. Oh, Pardon? I mean, Ting, Ting had, Ting had uh, just had said that maybe next time I could let her know that people were coming. And <clears throat> did you have a conversation with Ting, the reason why she wanted to let her know who was, would be coming to the visit? During the visit, yes. He explained to me that she'd like to prepare him for the situation because he may not like fully remember my dad and stuff, which I understand. So after that, I just told her, yeah, we'll let you know before so the visit. You, did you agree with Ting? Yeah. That was, that was in your son's best interest in which to know who was going to be at the visit so she could prepare your son to meet other people at the visit. Yes, I agree. And prior to that, wasn't there a conversation you had with Ting prior to that, that prior to any visit is that you're to let her know prior to the visit who was going to be at the visit so she could prepare your son for the visit? Yeah, but I think I told her that he was coming to the visit. So, so, now, you're, so now you're saying that you, you believe that you told her that your dad was going to be at the visit prior to the visit? Yeah, to my best of my recollection. So you told her, okay, and at the, at, what happened at the visit? I mean, when your dad was there, what happened with your son and your dad? When Did you, did your son remember your dad? Well, I, I'm not sure. I don't remember who it was that asked him. I think it was um, King, and it kind of made him awkward. It made him feel a little awkward. He goes, do you remember him, Jaden? Do you remember him at all? Oh, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> and... My dad was just standing there kind of awkwardly, not even saying anything. And he just like, that's okay. So how was your day today, Jaden? You know, and, and just uh, to talk to him, you know. I got you. So was it Ting's fault for that visit not going well because that occurred? I say yes. Okay. So... It was her fault for asking the question, and you're saying that you heard her ask the question, so she says something differently. That's just your word over her word, correct? And if you're talking about the he's, what is it, what is it, hearsay? Sorry, if you're talking about the whole hearsay thing, then that's fine, I agree. And so was there a problem regarding the second visit that you had with your parents here in Nevada in November of 2020? No. Why was there, wasn't there a scheduled visit to occur the day after what was, and there was supposed to occur two days in a row? Yeah, the second day it was supposed to be in a row, but my mom wasn't feeling well, so she just wanted to get uh, make sure that she, like, didn't have, like, a flu or anything, so she was like, well, let's just wait a day just to make sure I don't start getting, like, sneezes or coughs or anything. I wouldn't want to get him sick, so she, and, and then, um, you know, she, she was very strict about it. She just didn't want to have a problem <clears throat> if she was coughing or sneezing during a visit and have it canceled. So we had to schedule it for the next day. So there, there was no there was no argument between you and your mother? Well, I wanted her to go to the visit, and she didn't want to go. So it was not an argument, but it was a disagreement. Right. And that disagreement, you had that, uh, where was, when you had this disagreement with your mother, where was your son? With Ting. This is not during the visit. This was at home. And did you tell Ting that your mother, you and your mother had an argument? And so you pushed it off a day? I told her we disagreed about something. So if we could possibly do it the next day, that would be did better. You, 
Did you share with teens the reason that you believe that you sh your mother should not have visitation with your son the next day because she was not feeling well and that she had a cough? Um, no, because I didn't want her to get, um, you know, scared of, you know, the whole COVID situation thing. Everything going on was really tight then. Still is, but. Did, did your mother, to you, exp <clears throat> have signs of COVID? Is that why you were um, No. She's a chronic smoker, so she's a chronic cigarette smoker, so um, I, I, I thought it was just typical of her to have an extra cough that day. She, she's always coughing or something, you know, in the morning, so I, I thought it was just normal, but she thought it may be a little excessive, so she just didn't want to take the chance. So, you know, it, it was a disagreement all day about it, so... And so it was related to COVID. It wasn't regarding a cold or anything. It was regarding, hey, mom possibly has COVID from traveling from New York. Yeah. All right. So. No, I, I kept telling her, I'm like, you're fine. You're fine. I'm sure I don't want to take the chances. Okay, fine. Okay, you'll stay home all day then. So I agree. Okay. Did you get a? Did your mom get a COVID test? Did you get a COVID test? Um. No, I don't even think they had them at the time. This was just last December, right? October or November, the beginning of November, yeah. <clears throat> we were not aware if they were available or not. Well, let me ask you about a couple other things that Ting brought up. She said that at the movie theater, it smelled like uh, when you left uh, your son there in the movie theater and we went to the movie theater with her and Jaden on a couple different occasions, that you would leave for a period of time and he came back and he smelled like uh, marijuana. What... Can you tell the court whether or not that that's true? I would say that's hearsay. Well, I understand if it's hearsay, but I mean, was it or was were you or were you not smoking marijuana or vaping marijuana during your visits uh, with your son there held at movie theaters around town? Absolutely not, counsel. So what were you doing when you left for these three to four different occasions and you came back and smelled of marijuana? The accurate objection, that's not a fact. It's um, no foundation to that alleged fact, Your Honor. I'm sorry, I was muted. I'll allow the question. So when we were in a movie theater and I would get up to use the restroom, I would go over to Ting and... I, first, I would tell Jaden, stay right here, don't move. And I would go over to Ting and say, hey, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Do you mind keeping an eye on him? And she said, sure, no problem. So I'd go use the restroom. And I never used the restroom more than once during a visit or uh, uh, the movies at that because I never want to miss a good part. So I've never left the theater at all in general. I would go to the bathroom. I asked her to watch him. And if it was with me and not with Ting, I would never leave him there alone. I would take him to the bathroom with me. And no, I never smelled like marijuana during a visit or left to go smoke any marijuana during a visit. So I do not agree with that. Ting spoke about a time where the, your son fell off the monkey bars when he was uh, during one of the visits. Can you tell the court what happened? I don't even recall that situation. And then uh, Ting also, uh, an examination, talked about two different times where one time was at the uh, Adventure Dome, and I believe that was in 2017. Do you recall going to the Adventure Dome with, with Ting in 2017? Mm-hmm. Yes. That was yes. the Circle Circus, correct? Yes. Who was there? Me, Ting... Jaden and Bonnie. Okay. So at that visit, Rex wasn't there. So this was a visit uh, in 2017, correct? Yeah. This Bonnie was initiated that visit because she was in town. And I have Bonnie's that... number. We talk a lot. So you, you talk a lot to Bonnie. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And so in 2000. 17, do you recall you recall going to the Adventure Dome with Bonnie? Yes, Counsel. And with Jaden? Yes. 
Rex was not there. No. And you heard the testimony of Ting, which, which she said that there was a problem because you were running around and trying to hide from her at the Adventure Dome. Can you tell the court your, your side of the story? Well, I'm going to start off with that's a lie. And my son ran off at the Adventure Dome, and I had to go and chase him. Like, so the, um, the statement she made about him running off a lot, that is true. So I, if I was clearly paying attention to him because I was running right behind him to try and ask him to please stop running around the Adventure Dome because there's too many people and I don't want him to fall or trip over somebody and hurt him himself or somebody else. Is it fair to say that this was the first visit that took place after the CPS case was closed? No. So there was these other visits over, uh, you talked about at the Exploration Park that occurred prior to that? There were, there were numerous amounts of visits between me and Rex and Jaden. I'm talking about after the CPS case closed. And first, so am I. The first visit that you had with your son after the CPS case closed. Well, I was in jail for three or four weeks, and when I got out, shortly after that, a week or two after that, I had my first visit. They were continuous, sporadic throughout that time. I, I understand, and I'm just trying to... I, I understand your testimony to be that you're in jail for a period of time, sporadic visits, you don't know when, Exploration Park. Now I've brought up that there was Adventure Dome, which occurred. My question to you is that how does this fit in the whole scheme? Did that occur? Was that the first visit? And if your answer is no, that's fine. Was this the third or fourth, or what? which visit was it? Counsel, I can't count how many visits I had between the CPS case um, closing and, and then. Um, you're saying so the first visit since it closed, since the 2017, since it closed. Okay, um... Uh, no, that was not the first visit. Okay, and so you've heard the testimony of Tang regarding the visitation in 2021, which is held in uh, recently, I believe it was in February, March of this year, which February. February 20th, which you were running around, and it, was, it appeared to Ting is that you're trying to avoid uh, Ting seeing what you were in Rex, or you and uh, uh, Jaden were doing together. You recall her testimony? Okay. The council, I'm going to say it like this. I, I, I showed up to the visit, and I was talking to Jane about what we were going to do. And we were actually looking for somewhere around the park to play tennis because I couldn't see a tennis court anywhere near. And then I did notice her following me with her camera on, and I just didn't appre appreciate that, and I didn't understand why. She was following me with her camera, so I asked her if she could politely, I politely asked her on the Talking Parents if she could stop following me, if I could have just a little bit of privacy within eye's reach, and, you know, she responded with something rude, and I just continued with the visit, and a couple minutes after that, Jaden had said that he was really cold, because it was windy that day, and I didn't check the weather before the visit. I, I, I guess I should have checked the weather. Um, it was very windy that day. But we were trying to find a spot in the park where we could play tennis where the ball wouldn't hit anybody. So I, I wasn't running away from her in any way. Okay, so you, you went to a different place in the park, which was in an eye reach of, of, of uh, thing to play tennis. Is that what your testimony is? Um, I wasn't going anywhere that she couldn't see me. Okay. So her testimony was that you were running around as if you were trying to leave with Jaden and coast game on. What do you say about that? No. No what? N no, I was not running around f away from her. I said I was trying to find a spot in the park that we could play tennis and there wasn't too much wind. And then I did notice her following me with her camera, like like this. And I was curious to why she's recording me, so I asked her, could you please stop following me? It's, it's just making it awkward. Okay. So like, you, she could see me, 
she could see me, so there's no reason to follow me with your camera. Like, I feel like it was a setup console. Gotcha. So you're saying that she was following you because you moved to a different place. She couldn't see you. But she was following no, you. she could see me. She could see me. There's okay. nothing blocking eyes view of where I was that was walking to. So you're walking away from a different vantage point you usually went to in the park. Yeah, like the, the park is like open and like even it, no matter where you stand, you can see everything because where I was at, there's not in the playground, it doesn't block the view. All the tables and areas that we were at are very eyes open view. So I wasn't going anywhere where she could not see me. Has and I wasn't Ting, running away. Has Ting supervised all your visits with Jaden, between you and Jaden? Um, yes. Well, not all of them. At the beginning of 2019, she was the main person that I would visit with. Yes. She was the main person that you visited with since 2018? 19. 19. <clears throat> yes, sir. And uh, did you... Did you ever thank Jaden or uh, Tink for supervising your visits with, with Jaden? Um, I've, I've thanked her for bringing him there and accommodating, yes. I've actually thanked her for everything she's done. Are you glad that she's provided and accommodated all these visits? I'm very grateful. Are you upset with Ting in any manner? I wouldn't say upset, um, just disappointed okay and so how are you disappointed with Ting? I'm disappointed in the fact that she does not and I quote these are her words does not support reunification and she told you that to your face or she you, the, through the uh, it's, it's in your exhibit text messages so not sure which Page. If you'd like me to look for it, I can. No. Is that the only thing you're disappointed about? Yes. You're not angry or mad at her? No. Are you happy that she's provided for the care for your son? Yes, but it's not needed. It's not what? It's not needed. It's I'm grateful, needed. though. <clears throat> I, would you agree with me that she's provided the sole care and support for your son over the last four years? Yeah, because she doesn't give me the option to do that myself. So are you upset with her that she doesn't give you the option? No, because she is an adult and makes her own decisions. You're aware of the order that says that all of your contact with your son is to be supervised? Correct. And you would agree with me that things follow those orders and those instructions by the court? Correct. And that is why I'm not upset with her. I'm and just disappointed that she doesn't support reunification. And that she's taken on this task and this role, not only as providing the caregiver, the sole caregiver for your son for the last four years, but she's also, yes, taken, on, she's also taken on this role to be your supervisor. Okay, can you repeat the question? She's not only, sure, Ting's not only taken on the role in which to solely take care of your son for the last four and a half years, but she's also taken on the role to be the supervisor for any contact that you've had with your son. Okay, I'm not getting the question, counsel. Is it what fact? I'm asking you the question, is that as Ting, she's been the person who's taken on the sole, you've already said yes to my question, is that she's, for the last four years, she's taken sole control, uh, excuse me, sole care of your son. Is that true? You were right in both statements. Okay, and she's been the sole supervisor, correct? <coughs> excuse me, yes. And she's done that in the entire period of time without objection from you, is that correct? <clears throat> Objection. Um, I'd just like him to clarify what he means the entire period of time because it seems my client has answered this question multiple occasions about the periods of time. So maybe just referencing the, the one period of time that of when she says that she was the supervisor. Mr. Hoffman, that, that, that's my objection. It's ambiguous. Yeah, sure. 
Thank you, Judge. Kaylee, during this period of time, the, uh, my client has been supervising and caring for your son, solely taking care of your son. Have you made any objection to her doing those, taking on those two roles? I mean, I object to it because it's not needed, but what more can I do with an order that says I have to have it? And that order came into place in, uh, in 2014, correct? That order came into place in 2017. I'm sorry, correct. Thank you for correcting me. I appreciate that. And I'm sorry. <laughs> and you believe that it's in the best interest of your son for... Uh, for uh, King to take on this role, to be the supervisor and providing for the, the care and the needs for your son after the entry of the order back in 2017? Well, I was under the assumption that it was going to be with his father. And his father led me on to believe we were getting back together for years, or I would have taken this to court a long time ago, three years ago. But you would agree with me is that with consideration of your best interest, this is uh, to your son's best interest, that she has provided the, the supervision needed for you to see your son, correct? You agree with me with that? Uh, partially, I agree. By all means, her being the only person that is, other than me, for the time being, while the court order is in place, yes. But like I said, it's not needed. All right, so you agree with me that she's provided that care, is your son's best interest to provide yes. that care and supervision. You would also yes. further, you can agree or disagree with me on this, is that since this period of time, she's done nothing in which to interfere and not looking out to the best interest of your son. That you're I disagree. Okay, so what has she done that's not in the best interest of your son? We're going to be here all day. Um, can you specify, day, please? This is very important. What has she done that you believe is not in the best interest of your son when she's been, the, so, when she's been providing for the care and providing supervision of you during your visits with your son? What do you believe that she's done that's not in your, best, in your son's best interest? Um, well, there's many things, found, so many things. So if you could just give me a moment just to where I can start. Um, okay. One moment, please. Are you reading something in front of you right now, Kaylee? No. See? Nothing here. Do you need to see more? See? Nothing. Nothing. No, I'm just thinking. I would say that things that are not in the best interest or um, things go on behind my back, so I cannot speak of those. It would be hearsay from my son. Okay, anything else? No. No further questions. Zernich, would you like to conduct your examination uh, now, or would you like to call her um, in your case? Uh, I, I'm happy for you to, to do it either way um, and give you latitude. It may just be easier um, and make more sense for you to, to move forward now with her. Your Honor, I agree. I would uh, like to conduct it now. All right, go ahead. I could, and you're not going to limit me just to, well, most, most no, of your I'm questions are, are basically about something he's already talked about anyhow, so I just want to fill in some gaps. Sure, I'm going to give you leeway um, and not treat this necessarily as cross for subject matter um, so that you don't have to recall her in just a few moments. So um, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Kaylee, I'm going to, I'd like to start first, uh, perhaps, I think Mr. Hoffman already asked you some of these. It was uh, about um, testimony that Ting gave. Um, 
I'd like to have some uh, clarification. Have you ever smoked marijuana um, during a visit with uh, Jaden? No. Um, and the issue about, about the circus circus, you said you admit there was running in the circus circus? Yes. Were you, were you trying to take Jaden and run away from Ting? No. Okay. Again, what was the circumstance of the running? He, he had took her off. He was excited. He off, so I chased after him. Okay. She was first in this park, Desert Breeze Park specifically, I believe, um, where there was a drink uh, knocked over. you recall that incident? Yes. Um, can you tell your, so, wait, but she, she said that you got mad at him, you made him feel bad. Do you recall it that way? I didn't get mad, more alarmed because the drink spilled on me. <laughs> so I just told him to please pay more attention to where he was moving around. Okay. Did you think that hurt his feelings? No. You, you specify you don't even recall the monkey bar issue? Not at all. All right. And I, I believe the issue about running away from Ting, what we were just talking about, you said you were wanting to go look for a place to hit, hit some tennis balls or something like that. Was it Desert Breeze Park? Um, was, do you recall that was at Desert Breeze Park? Yes. Okay. Um, and any time there were you were you trying to run away from Ting? No. You vape in front of Jaden? No. There was something about an ice cream truck. Uh, one of the visits. Do you remember about an ice cream truck? Yes. What happened about the ice cream truck? Jaden saw an ice cream truck and he ran. He ran for it like the wind. I believe she might have uh, testified that, but then she said something happened after that. What, 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 what happened after he ran? Um, I asked him to not run around, but run away from me and to listen to me and team when we say, Aiden. Well, when he ran, did, what, what was your reaction upon his running? I was right behind him. Okay, do you recall her running after him? No, she was sitting down at the table. Birthday present, 2018. You remember birthday party? Yes. Where, where was that? At the park. Um, what, what, a birthday present that you allegedly stole? Um, yeah, I was under the assumption it was already paid for. Did you ever steal a birthday present? No. Okay, so you, is there some reason maybe she thought you didn't pay for the birthday present? Yes. What was the reason that... I gave Rex the money to purchase the things that we picked out, and the, the family was on the counter, and when we had walked away, I thought they forgot it. Okay, so you grabbed the stuffed animal upon walking away? Yes. Was it intentional? I mean, you intentionally grabbed it. Did you intentionally try to steal it? No, I would have paid for it if I didn't know that it wasn't paid for. Okay. Um... I want to fill in some other gaps by the testimony. Um, you already testified that when he was born, you were living in New York. Right. He asked if you provided a stable environment in New York. you remember what your answer was? Yes. I'd like to ask more specifically if you were working while you were in New York. Yes, I was. Okay, well, tell the judge what you were doing. What was your job? I was cleaning college dorms in between semesters for $20 an hour off the boat. Okay. Um, was that helping you pay for your own expenses? Yes. Were you receiving money from anyone else? Yes, Rex. Sent me enough money to get by. Okay, so you're working in Rex sending you money. Yes. Um, from New York, you said that you had moved... Um, you moved from New York. I, I know where you moved to, but I'll let you ask. Where did you move to from New York? I moved to Texas to be with Rex. Okay. When you said be with Rex, um, uh, specifically, where was Rex, uh, Rex living, or was he just in Texas? What was up? Um, he had a hotel room there, a weekly um, situation, but he was planning on travel with poker, so his mom um, helped me get set up in a place. Um, he gave me a, a little bit of money to get set up, and then I quickly got a job. Okay. So you say Rex was in Texas. 
Um, and it, but but primarily his mother was li living in Texas. Was that the purpose of being there? Yes. Okay. His mother's Bonnie. Yes. Um, so when you moved to Texas, um, did you did you uh, have contact with Bonnie? Uh, we'll start with Bonnie. Yeah, like every day we talked. Okay. How about with Rex? Uh, that was periodical. After a few days, after I first moved there, he had already he left town. He had a poker tournament to go to. Okay. Did he come back? No. How long were you in Texas? About five months. Uh, how much did you see him while you were in Texas? Just the first few days that I was there, and then he was gone. Um, so you mentioned you got a job in Texas. Yes. Okay. What did you do? I worked at Sonic drive in drive through It was a barista. Okay. Um and did you work at that job until you left Texas? Yes. Okay. When you left Texas, where did you go? Tennessee. Why did you go to Tennessee? I found out Rex had a girlfriend, and we weren't getting back together. So I, I went to live with my dad and Sue. Did, did um, Jaden stay in Texas with Rex and or Bonnie, or Jaden go with you? He went with me. Okay. So when you uh, went to Tennessee, uh, did you get a job? Yes. What did you do while you were in Tennessee? I worked at the front desk of the Holiday Inn. How long did you work there? About six months. Okay. Uh, and did you live with, um, was it your father's Mark? Is that accurate? Yes. And Mark and Sue? Yeah, they own land there. Okay. So you, you lived with them? Mm-hmm. What was, uh, uh, what was um, Jane's relationship with them while you were there? Oh, it was great. Uh, you know, Nani, Poppy, they were his best friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so about how long were you in Tennessee? Uh, six months, seven months, six and a half months, seven months. Okay, so um, somewhere around half a year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, was Rex still sending you money while you were in Tennessee? For, um, like, for like a couple times, but then they stopped. Okay, so up until you moved to Tennessee, uh, was he assisting with some form of support? Uh, bare minimum. All right. So in Tennessee, you had the job at the Holiday Inn. But how long did you have that job? Was it uh, was it just a fraction of the time in Tennessee? Most of the time? Uh, oh, I worked. I worked uh, full time, and my uh, my stepmom and my sisters would babysit Jaden during that time. Okay, but was it most of the time in Tennessee, or was it just a couple of weeks? No, most of the time. Okay. Why did you leave Tennessee? Rex, and he started communicating again, and he convinced me that he wanted to be in Jaden's life more, and he wanted to see me more, so he sent us plane tickets to move to Vegas. What did he tell you about being in Vegas? Uh, that he wasn't going to be here a lot. Okay. Did he live in Vegas? Yeah. He had a house somewhere up the uh, mountain's edge in Blue Diamond. Okay. Um, up until that portion of your life, had you ever done cocaine in your life? No. Had you ever done any methamphetamine? No. How about heroin? No. Okay, but I think you, at some point we know that you were either smoking marijuana or taking marijuana edibles. Um I believe you might use, I think you said you were eating some edibles when uh, around the, his birth. What was your what was your uh, usage of THC in whatever form, right? Uh, whether you were smoking or eating edible, uh, you know, um, in around that time, Tennessee, uh, moving to Las Vegas. I smoked outside, was, preferably at nighttime when he was asleep with my sisters watching him. What was the primary purpose of uh, uh, smoking marijuana? No, um, insomnia. Okay. Um, did it help you sleep? Oh, yeah, right to bed. Did it knock you out or just help you sleep? Just help me sleep. All right. I don't like medication, so, yeah. You have a medical condition that perhaps uh, affects your sleep, is that true? Yes. What is it? ADHD. When were you diagnosed with ADHD? I'm five years old. Okay. When you moved to Las Vegas, where did you move into? A weekly, the budget suites on Tropicana and Valleyville. Did you choose that place or did Rex help you choose it? Rex already had it set up for me. 
Okay, so um, the budget suites on Tropicana was good enough for Rex, in your opinion? Objection, cost of speculation. 